Hey guys, it's Jewel Taz here. Um, this is my final video on the semi truck group build that Jeff and the Ferrets and Thomas and Sol Tom Solis is putting on. Um, a GMC General that I named Nur the Northern Redneck is done. Um, I still got the trailer to somewhat finish up. Um, I'm having issues with it, so I'm debating about even building it. Um, parts missing. Um, warped. It's a POS. Um, so I'm not even going to bother anymore. Um, this is. my GMC General uh, Inner Glory um, gives you an update of, of the pinstripe work uh, it's all done with folk art paints um, black um, stripe it's metal flake over it. All folk art, guys. Um, gun metal pinstripe work on on right here. Um. Is all gunmetal uh, around the metallic black center strip. Um, the back of the cab, you can see the graphic a little bit better. It's a little bit clearer. Um, it's a, like a tribal crisscross cross type deal uh, that carried throughout the truck. Uh, and then I did the Northern Redneck written in paint um, pearl white on the top and then this is model master red that I let dry and then I come back under and did a a shadow with um, with the white pearl to tie in with the the northern is also in, uh, in pearl white um, all written in all hand laid Uh, under a coat, under clear coat. Um, did the bottom of the frame, box the frame in under the fifth wheel. Uh, replaced the fifth wheel, the fifth wheel itself uh, with. Um, There you go. Uh, chrome fifth wheel out of the Louisville kit with the chrome tread plate. Um, added a bug shield to the front. Uh, had no warpage. Uh, to this truck for a fact everybody says that these GMC journals and the sister kit of uh, the bison the Chevy Bisons are atrociously noted for a warped cab um, the only thing I did wrong was I lost the front clip the, the lift pins for the front to tilt the front and off the ground but the hood on this truck for some reason fits without uh, so I just made a lift off hood um, chrome grill uh, chrome headlight Brazils uh, 
kind of gives you an idea of what the color looks like up close. Uh, kind of a shot of the motor all done up. Like I said, I was going to do it. Uh, chrome bell covers, gun metal exhaust tips, uh, black pearl on the on the engine. Um, painted all the chassis. Um, added decals to the rear that say GMC. Little decals underneath by here of our fire sister on board. Um, added the lights to the roof. Uh, and ace and the AC compressor out of the the auxiliary truck pack. Um, added chrome center caps for the front wheels. Um, yeah. Um, If you look inside the cab, you can see my little tire guy. Um, so this is my GMC General. Uh, I hope everybody likes it. It was, it was a lot of fun. This truck was actually a lot of fun. Um, I hope everybody else is having a blast with this truck build. Um, plan on building it, uh, building one more next year. Uh, I haven't got one yet. Uh, I'll probably be looking at this year's show scene uh, and see what is at the show. Uh, hope everybody enjoys this uh, there's a few things I would have done differently on it but you know when it's already in paint um, as far as paint as this thing was uh, I had major paint issues with this truck. Um, so, I'm lucky that the cab came out as good as it did after a rebath. But, this is Tool Taz uh, hiding out. I hope everybody gets into some of these group bills. The Frankenstein bill that Rick Ed gets into. Or one of the mus the muscle thing that Saltwater is putting on um, MDS. Uh, I've got a muscle car I can build for that, or I can build a my I can build a Frankenstein. Um, I haven't decided yet. It's a flip a coin, but I'm also still working on Dylan's Pro Street build as we speak. Um, my my chassis of the Pro Street truck is right here. Uh, one of Shelton's 572 is sitting in it. And all stretch built mufflers and exhaust system under it right now. Um, but that's the only that's a, a spy update on, on it. Hope everybody enjoys this build. And maybe this weekend get some build time in. This is Tool Tab signing out. Have a good one.